Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect King of Games. Today, we're going to be doing a build breakdown of Trick Stars. And for people that don't know what a build breakdown is, we're going to be giving you a replay, a deck profile, and a combo tutorial all wrapped inside of one video. As you guys can see, Crystal Wing is a great play to have when you don't draw your Trick Star combos. It's actually a lot harder than you think to draw those three card combos inside of a Trick Star deck than as a opposed to drawing a crystal wing which actually puts pressure on the opponent and is pretty good against a lot of meta decks seeing the one that we're playing against is true draco since three card combos are a lot harder to work out in real game situations i felt that the wind witch engine would not only supplement being able to provide a big monster some board presence but also can get off a little bit of burn damage to the opponent in the process so it's still nothing else to scuff at my opponent is going to start with 4700 life points off of the sole reason that that I have trick star monsters and wind witch monsters working together to scrape the opponent's life points before I even get the chance to start attacking. I think the burn concept is a great compliment right now, whereas the a lot of gimmicky decks running around or a lot of the gimmicky trick star decks um, want to use cards like present cards, which are not bad, double summoning, which you guys seen, but unfortunately, those are, again, three card combos that are extremely hard to get off, and you can run plenty of draw engines but it doesn't constitute the holding a brick because that's what you're probably going to be doing some of your games uh the best thing about the Wind Witch engine is Crystal Wing itself, like I said. As you guys can see, Crystal Wing is holding its own, completely holding back the true Draco player at bay, just for the sole reason that it can't be destroyed by card effects, and any monster that it battles from the true Draco deck, seeing that they're all level 5 and higher, it'll gain its attack. So no matter how many times he will have Crystal Wing, it will still be able to attack over any of his true Draco monsters. That is pretty pretty good fortunately for him he does have diagram on the field which prevents his monsters to be destroyed by battle but that doesn't stop him from taking damage or from me drawing enough cards to win the game outright by just being able to burn the rest of his life points so i put my opponent in the position where he has to be the offensive player and all i have to do is sit back until i draw the right amount of cards to finish off the 1700 of his life points that's where i figure that when which have a special part in this meta is because you can abuse the fact that decks like true draco searches a lot of cards and you can hit them for tons of damage then you can summon cards like crystal wing and ruin the rest of their life points this is just really good concept and i am excited to show you guys the deck profile also if you guys would like to see more games like this we stream on fridays or at the we stream on youtube my apologies on fridays hope to see you guys in the next video let's show you what the deck profile looks like the trick star archetype is a very very good archetype even with the limited supply of cards that it does have i'm going to go ahead and give it a teal rating because not only is this strategy unique in its own way providing a burn strategy that's actually competitive for an archetype but it actually allows you to lock your opponent out of their hand which could potentially win you the game on to the deck profile we run three copy of trick star kadena this is the most important card of the deck being able to search any of your trick star cards from your deck to your hand three copies of licorice licorice allows us to inflict the most burn damage because in this format everybody searches cards and everybody adds cards from their deck to their hand lily bell is a great card being able to special summon its, itself when it's added to the hand and also recursing any of your trick star monsters from the graveyard even though we don't have that much but since we don't have much we can play a second engine which will be the wind witch engine wind witch ice bell is very important to the strategy i feel right now mainly because not only it it, it helps allows us to get closer to our goal by inflicting burn damage but it makes use of our extra deck space um the two copies of glass bell now this card actually is pretty good you might want to consider playing three of them because you can just normal summon it in this deck when you don't have any normal summons and search your cards and it's a level four monster so it's not that bad and then two copies of wind witch snow bell this card we play in two because we run pot of desires and you know 
Kind of don't want to banish that one. Um, that is it for the summonable monsters. Now we run a lot of hand traps to combat the ideology of going second. Because if you go second inside of the Trickstar deck, it does hurt. So with that being said, we run three copies of Drolling Lockbird. This actually plays a part to our lock strategy, preventing the opponent from adding additional cards from their hand and banishing their entire hand. So that helps really well with us. Uh, two copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit to destroy those pesky diagrams, Zodiac monsters, whatever you really need to destroy and then two copies of ash blossom and joyous spring while we normally wouldn't play this card uh on our turn because we want them to search to inflict damage to him uh if we go second we want to do it uh one copy of maxi and that is going to sum up the monsters at what i believe would be 22 for the spells we're going to play three copies of trick star light stage this is the most important spell card to the strategy being able to search a trick star monster um prevent your opponent from using certain cards and inflict additional damage to your opponent. Three copies of Dark Room of Nightmare. Now this card is just freaking awesome. It allows us to inflict additional damage just for inflicting damage. If you have multiple copies of this card, your opponent can be in for something. Three copies of Terraforming. This card allows us to search the trick star light stage and two copies of pot of desires because drawing additional cards is always nice. That's gonna sum up the spells. Next, for the traps, we ran three copies of Trickstar Reincarnation. Um, I really felt that all the gimmicky cards, Disturbance Strategy, Present Card, weren't that good. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with the three, three Trickstar Reincarnation. If I'm playing against a competitive deck, they're going to be searching. So Reincarnation, Droll and Lock is probably going to be enough for me to lock them out of their deck. Also, banishing their hand after they search the perfect hand is pretty good. Uh, three copies of Solemn Strike. I felt that this card was really good against um, cards like Ash Blossom, which will ruin our strategy. Um, two copies copies of blazing mirror force uh, i feel it's the best mirror force for this deck because it inflicts burn damage one solemn warning and one ring of destruction that's gonna sum up the traps for the extra deck we it's pretty simple you can almost run anything you want outside of uh two copies of crystal wing uh, monster negation it's what you would summon with the uh, with the wind witch strategy one scarlight red dragon arch fiend this card can't be summoned by through the wind winch engine but it actually has came up quite a few times to just have a glass bell summon the kadena and then make this um two copies of clear wing this card actually comes up a lot too being able to negate monsters effects and sometimes you don't have what it takes to make the crystal wing uh one copy of wind witch winter bell this card actually inflicts burn damage to your opponent so <laughs> i've actually summoned this card for game a couple times one high speed Roy Chanbrara. Uh, this is when your opponent goes ahead and decides to destroy your Ice Bell so you can't make the Clear Wing and you know you just make the Chanbrara or when you need the double attack. Uh, we run Deco Talker. Two copies of Trickstar Holly Angel. This card's freaking awesome. Uh, I, it's just, I, I never thought that I would play her so much. Um, the Utopia Package, Diamond Dire Wolf, Castell and Tornado Dragon. That is it for the main board and the extra deck. Let me show you guys a couple of combo tutorials, including some cards that I did not decide to run inside of the deck. There are some awesome trick star combos, um, especially with cards that I didn't decide to play. Now, the only reason why I didn't play them is because uh, going through the consistency of it, they were three card combos and they didn't necessarily always prove a way for you to gain them. So I decided against them, but they're nonetheless really good. I'll put them down in the suggested cards um, with the deck profile or with the list of the deck profile. This one is a three card combo. Um, all of them are three card combos, actually. It requires Kadena, Licorice, and a Chain Summoning inside of your hand. What you're going to do is you're going to Normal Summon the Kadena and activate its effect. As Chain Link 2, you're going to use Licorice, and as Chain Link 3, you're going to use Chain Summoning. So Chain Summoning is going to go to your graveyard, and Licorice is going to go to your hand. With Lick, or I'm sorry, what Kadena is going to search is the Trick Star Light Stage, which you're going to activate to search the second copy of Licorice to your hand. Next, you're going to Normal Summon Kadena. Kadena's effect is going to activate to add Trick Star Reincarnation, and then you're going to use Licorice's effect to bounce the Kadena back to your hand. Now you're going to use your third summon, four chain summoning to normal summon the Licorice to add your second reincarnation to your hand. On your opponent's turn, you're going to activate both copies of Trickstar Reincarnation, inflicting 5,600 damage to your opponent. If you have at least one copy of Darkroom Nightmare, that damage becomes 7,400. And then keep in mind that you still have the Kadena to inflict damage to your opponent for every spell and trap card they add. So it gets really nasty. And if they decide to search some orders, damage too. The next combo 
is very simplistic. Um, normally, the reason why I play this combo is because it's in practice. In, in practice, it's a two card combo, seeing that every deck just about searches. Um, but we're gonna say uh, two search cards are one search card, a reincarnation, and a draw lock. This time, we're just gonna use two trick star reincarnations. What you're going to do is you're gonna activate uh, trick star, your first trick star reincarnation, discarding your opponents or banishing your opponent's entire hand, and then drawing cards. Now, on the resolution of trick star reincarnation, it's very important that you activate these cards on the resolution. You're gonna go ahead and activate another trick star reincarnation is chain link one and then droll and log bird adds chain link two preventing your opponent from or making your opponent banish their cards but preventing them from drawing additional cards leaving them zero cards in your hand uh, ideally you can actually run present card if you want this combo to show up more but then again like i said these three card combos are pretty hard to pull off but once you do pull them off they're pretty rewarding thank you guys so much for watching another segment of the cali effect i can't wait to see you guys on on stream this Friday. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.